What's up guys, Rick Danimir, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us for another Tech Tip Tuesday. We are talking a little bit about some perch ice fishing today, so stay tuned. This one's going to be a fun change up for some late winter fishing. Alright guys, so we actually did a video a couple years back when the ice fishing was pretty darn good. We had solid ice and it was a ice fishing on a budget video. So I'm going to link that up here if you want to check that out. But basically we applied that same setup um, out here on the ice this last weekend and did really well. Now I want to show you guys in this video a couple of my favorite simple easy rigs to use that'll help you get lots of perch and uh, it, this is just from my experience simple easy way to do it you don't need a whole lot else for perch fishing and it can be a whole lot of fun for the family so let's get started and we'll jump right into this so without going too much into the rods because they can go from all over the map I will quickly brief over these you have this guy here which is your mighty might Fred Meyer Walmart special usually goes on sale for about ten dollars if you pay attention to it so very inexpensive very easy for what it does it's got sensitive enough tip really can do the job I know it's not the high end out there but for you entry level guys this is a great starting setup I change out the line put six pound test on here and then uh, the business end of this we're basically going to cover two lures today to keep it so simple for you guys the first is going to be a spoon. And I like to use a little guy here called the Swedish Pimple. The Swedish Pimple is a tiny little spoon. It has that little flicker tail blade on it. Makes a lot of good noise in the water, good profile. Tip it with a wax worm, a night crawler, whatever you may be able to get a hold of that is a great way to start get your first fish and with perch they are carnivorous I mean they are aggressive little buggers and really when you start catching perch you take one and take the eye out and once you put the eye on the hook and start fishing with the eye that action is just going to be non-stop so very simple very easy way to do it so many good colors out there the chartreuse is a good one um, another one is, and I'll pull it out of the box here, a silver with a mirror crackle finish. That one's really good. They got gold, coppers, pinks, whatever you may think of. It's a great little spoon. Um, for size wise, I like to keep the smallest that they have because it allows for even those big perch when they're not super aggressive or highly pressured to really key in on it so that smaller size seems to do better for me and then the second bait we're going to cover is going to be just a simple jig now this setup for my ultralight is a 36 inch HT blue ice rod this rod itself very easy to use very light uh, which helps in this I have four pound test on this one this is a uh, Velocity Thor reel and then we end up for the business end going with a little tiny micro jig and there's a lot of micro jigs out there so you guys can go with tungsten you guys can go with all sorts of other stuff this little regular lead head jig 
is made to look like a little grub. And that little grub, tip it with a wax worm, night crawler, you're good to go. And one thing guys I will mention as well is that you guys want to have a couple different sizes and varieties of your colors because in the experience of this episode we were filming out here my buddy Zach had a lot small, smaller profile of a jig than I was using and his jig was actually outfishing everything else. You would think the big spoon would be the one catching the big perch but in reality it was a small micro pattern that really was the one that put the absolute hurt on them. So I wanted just to make an extra point that the size and profile sometimes definitely needs to be taken into consideration, especially on pressure days, lots of people, especially where we were at this lake, there was a lot there. So that could have been a huge part to why the bite changed the way it did. And colors can also play an institute to it. Um, happened to be orange and pink on this day but green was also catching, so really just have to pay attention to the people around you and see what's going on. And so, it's so easy to do this, you just gotta find the schools of fish and stay on them. Usually when you start catching one, you'll find that more will bite with it. But when you start fishing the light stuff, let me tell you guys, one thing that will make all the difference in the world for you guys to catch more of these fish because they do get super finicky is to pick yourself up one of these little spring bobbers and a spring bobber attaches to the end of your rod and allows you here so all of this is just a thin piece of wire has a little deal that snaps over the eyelet of the top of your rod has another eyelet for your line to pass through but at the most sensitive little bite you will see it register on the spring bobber before your line does. So when it looks like on a rod, it's attached just like this. So that fish comes by and goes, boom, you already have it and you're good to go. So makes all the difference with that. Um, but that's really simple. Just a jig or a small little spoon. Those perch are super aggressive and they will get after your stuff. So I really like those two setups and like I said if you want to go for bait keeping it simple you can go to your local tackle store and get some mealworms work great these are from Fred Meyer they have wax worms that are mummified or preserved um, and I'll link everything down below guys but that's a preserved bait from Euro tackle works really well or if you have night crawlers Perch are very uh, easy to catch because they're aggressive, they love to eat, so any of that kind of stuff you put in front of them generally will do the trick. So I really hope for just a simple, basic introduction to perch, this is kind of the way to do it. You guys can see here, we had some fun with this footage, but uh, simple makes all the difference. You can go super complicated, but you really don't need to. So. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for this Tech Tip Tuesday. We're going to catch you guys out on the water. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys, and fish on.